LDWMAC, this is your boy, the coach, and I'm going to be sitting up here, and I'm going I'm to tell you I told you so, okay? I'm going to tell you guys I told you so, but I, I always seem to be telling you that I told you so. Uh, Chris Cyborg and Kat Zingano, they're probably going to fight by the end of 2022, or they'll probably end up fighting more toward maybe mid-2023, okay? Those are the time, that's the timeline, because uh, right now... They're trying to get everything worked out. They're trying to get the scheduling and the booking done. And, you know, when you book a fight, uh, sometimes it can be very difficult, uh, especially when they come to two athletes such as Chris Cyborg and uh, Kat Zingano. Uh, Kat Zingano and Chris Cyborg, they, they don't like each other. You know, they really don't share much of each other to begin with. Chris Cyborg got beef with Kat Zingano because Kat was some of the people back in the day saying that, you know, Chris was – was, you know, just a roided up freak and all this other stuff. Now, was Kat Zingano wrong about that? I mean, well, Chris did get popped once. But, you know, Chris been clean ever since, okay? She's been clean ever since. And, you know, even when Chris Cyborg got clean and, you know, hadn't had any more incidences of being popped, well, Kat Zingano still continued to run with that narrative. She continued to run with the narrative, and, you know, this is what it is, and Chris Cyborg has kind of always had some bad beef, some bad blood with Kat Zingano. So this fight, they don't like each other, and this going to make a good fight. Um, I think Chris Cyborg, of course, I think she dominates this fight. Um, I think she does it, and I think she does it very impressively. I just don't think Kat Zingano got any kind of wheels anymore. Okay, I mean, you know, what is Kat damn near 40? Chris is going on 37. I, I, me, I, I think Kat doesn't have a lot of wear and tear on her body. You know, I, I just think she can't do it. I don't know. Uh, you know, Kat back in her prime was a, you know, she was a good fighter. Strong fighter. But Chris is just levels above Kat Zingano. I'm talking about a whole nother level. And I just don't think Kat can deal with that kind of punishment. Uh, Kat is going to get hit often in this fight. <laughs> Kat is going to get hit. And, um... You know, people, people, you know, have been telling me, but Kat Zingano got this superior wrestling. And I had to shake my head like, what? What superior wrestling does Kat Zingano have? Okay, what superior wrestling? Chris has very good wrestling. And is very underrated. And see, the new team that she's with, they've been making Chris Cyborg wrestle. Like, look, <laughs> we finna start using some of this jujitsu that you know. Okay, we finna start doing some of this wrestling, girl. We finna mix it up. And that's what Chris Cyborg been doing. I mean, uh, do you guys ever see Kat Zingano mix it up? Not much. You don't really see Kat Zingano mix it up. Kat Zingano would throw some leg kicks. I mean, now she's got a great leg kick. A calf kick, sorry. Kat Zingano got a great calf kick. That Her stand-up to me, that's that's about it. Because I think after the calf kick, there's nothing else. And then Kat Zingano has to quickly move in and try to get the fight to the ground. Okay, And that's going to be her strategy. Kat Zingano isn't going to try to disguise it. She ain't going to try to hide it. That's a strategy. That's what she's going to try to do. Okay? Um, Kat is not a very difficult fighter to figure out. You just have to be able to stop what she's going to do. Okay? That's the whole thing. You have to be able to stop it. And Chris Cyborg will definitely be able to stop it. She'll be able to. Uh, within the clinch. You know, they got, you know Kat's going to try to you know rush in and clinch. And she's going to try to pin Chris against the cage. That's what she's going to try to do. Um, she's going to find out that, that that in itself is going to be even more difficult to perform because uh, Chris is a master of surviving on the cage. She's a master of hanging out on the cage and letting you just, you know, burn yourself out. And, and then she'll go and she'll retaliate against you. Chris is a master of that. So, you know, Kat's going to have to find some different ways to be Chris. You know, and then Kat, you know, hands, period. I, <laughs> no, Kat don't have good hands. And you would think, after the storybook career, the long career that she's had, I mean, you would think that Kat was trying to develop her hand speed more, but nah, man. Ain't into that. The only thing Kat want to do is wrestle to hell, wrestle you to death, and, you know, put you in jujitsu submissions. That's it. And that kind of fight, to me, that kind of fighter, they're going to go far, but they won't go as far as they could have if they were well rounded. And Kat, to me, is not very well rounded. He don't. Now, Kat Zingano can take a beat. I'm talking about Kat Zingano can take an ass whooping like no other. 
but she won't be able to beat Chris Cyborg. She will fall to the right hand of Chris Cyborg. She will fall. She's going to get hit so hard, she don't want to get up. And she's going to cover up and wait for the rep to save her. <clears throat> That's what's going to happen to Cassie Gano. She's going to cover up and she's going to wait for that referee to, to, to save the day. And folks, I already know. I already know that this is going to happen. Because look at that, the last couple of opponents Kat Zingano faced. She didn't look to me overly impressive against them. I don't know, man. I, I just think that these two, they should have faced each other when Kat was younger. That's what I thought. Well, you know, they were both in the UFC at the same time. I used to always wonder how come that fight couldn't get made. They were in the UFC at the exact same time. That fight could have been made, but, you know, I can understand that. You tell me, you know, Dana White, you know, I can understand that too, man. Dana has given us some great fights, but Dana has also blocked fights that we really want to see. He's blocked a few of those. And part of this, too, it was Dana's personal, you know, uh, you know, vindictive vindication towards Chris Cyborg. That's all it was. That's all it really was. I mean, yeah, he blocked the fight because he didn't like Chris Cyborg. Then, you know, he, he ain't giving Chris Cyborg no opportunity, so he wouldn't do that. That's just what it is. But all in all, this will be a, a good fight for as long as it lasts. I see Chris getting cat up out of there by round three. I see Chris getting cat up out of there. Cat just don't have it no more. It's just, I mean, you, you can look at Cat and you can clearly visibly see that she's not the fighter she once was. Now, I'm going to tell you, she's still good to look at. <laughs> I mean, folks, I got to, you know, I, I, I mean, I got to come out and say something. I got to come out and say something. I mean, she's still, you know, I can't. Still, I can't for those of y'all that <laughs> like older women. Uh, but guys, look for the fight. Probably end of December. Maybe, you know, maybe uh, March of next year, okay? It'll be around that time frame between December and March. Watch what I tell you.